Man, oh man, oh man, I keep telling y'all that this towing company out of Memphis, Tennessee just can't seem to keep itself out of the spotlight. Story time. This story comes from, again, Memphis, Tennessee. Check this out. A truck driver who came to Memphis to recover a tractor trailer stolen from the Chicago area stayed inside the big rig for nearly 34 hours to prevent a 1E towing and hauling from taking it. The owner of M Group Inc. said his driver gassed up at the Shelby Express on East Shelby Drive, pulled into a spot, and was in the process of paying for parking through his dispatch when a 1E booted and blocked in the vehicle. So I'm in the process of paying for the parking and you mean to tell me that i'm up under a time limit to pay for parking before you guys swoop in and and, and slap a boot on my truck look i i know that this is a horrible company a1 towing and hauling out of memphis tennessee but we gotta put much of the blame on the truck stop itself that truck stop is notorious, right? If we show the truck stop that we got the receipt or we only been there for a couple of minutes, man, come on. How much money are you, this company is making off of truck drivers? There, there's gotta be some type of conspiracy between this truck, uh, this truck stop and this towing company. It gotta be. We got a receipt. We called the gas station. We showed the receipt. We called the towing company and they said, oh, we booted you 10 minutes before you had this receipt. The company offered to pay a one $7,500 to drop the truck, but they were told it wasn't even close to what it would cost to get the truck back. So this is a conspiracy. So instead of taking the 75K right then and there to drop the truck, they know that they can scam more money out of the company when they take the truck and put it in their uh, storage facility. They know this. So from $75 to maybe thousands of thousands and thousands of dollars more that they can squeeze out of this trucking company. Drivers, man, it's, it's a conspiracy between this truck stop and this towing company. The police were called to the lot at least six times, but told them they couldn't interfere because the tow company had sued them. Now, mind you, this is local police. You mean to tell me local police could not do nothing because they feared that A1 towing would sue them? For what? For doing your job? A1 were honking their horns and using the boom of the tow truck to shake the truck. So we called out the police. The driver wanted to file a harassment charge against them, and the police said that wasn't enough to file a harassment charge. The police told the dude that, hey, sorry, you know, you can't file a harassment charge against A1 towing. What? Are you serious? You can't be serious right now, bro. You, you see what they trying to do, man? They trying to force me out of the truck and trying to scam me out of more money than I'm willing to pay. Our legal team told us because we were recovering a stolen vehicle, a one cannot hold it. Right, that's that's what he was doing. He was coming there to recover a, a, a stolen truck, probably, you know, an abandoned truck. Somebody probably dropped the truck there and, and they called it in as stolen and they was able to locate the truck or a trailer and they was on their way to come and get. An attorney for a one East claims the driver never paid for parking and said that is why the vehicle was being towed away. Wow, they must got their attorneys on speed dial. Bro, you booted my truck. You mean to tell me that I can't? If you booted my truck, okay, I'll take responsibility for that. Let me pay for it. But you mean to tell me I don't have time to pay for the boot because you you got your tow truck in the cut? Are you serious? I am not there, but the truck driver assaulted one of my client's employees, told the police department he was not going to pay anything, and then stated that my company told me to just sit in my truck and see what happens. This was all captured on video. Said a one's attorney, Daryl O'Neill. The, the part 
the driver assaulted one of their clients i'm gonna put an asterisk on that part right there because the driver probably retaliated from your client assaulting him by trying to force him out of the truck so they can take the truck that's what i think i i don't think it's the other way around that the attorney claimed and the part that that the company his company told him to see in the, uh to sit in the truck to see what happens i can believe that yeah you how, how you going to take the truck with me in it oh well We'll, we'll just wait it out. You got to use the bathroom. No, I got a bathroom right here in my truck, bro. I got I, I got food that'll last me for days. We we going to sit here and see how this going to play out. Did it play out the way that the company planned it? Well, let's find out. Let's let's dig a little deeper into this story. M Group Inc. said it was able to get its truck back after Tennessee troopers showed up. This is state police. They came and did the job that the local police should have did. We told them it's a stolen unit, and they said that's enough, said the M donor. They said the troopers told a one East to unhook the 18-wheeler and remove the boot. Their lawyer showed up and started talking about laws. You, 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 you think that the state police is going to stand there and be like, you can handle that in court if you want to talk all these law stuff. But right now, you're going to have to take that boot and remove the the, uh, the tow truck so this guy can get out of here. But state police shut him down and told him this is how the law works, said the empt owner. Then they started telling us they lost the key to the boot and can't do anything tonight. They try to pull a whole move on uh, the troopers and, and the company by saying, oh, um, we lost the key to the boot. <laughs> We, we can't do nothing because we lost the key to the boot. Really? Okay, we got something for you about that. So state police gave my guys the authority to cut the boot off. The state police gave authorization to the tool truck driver to get somebody to come out there and cut that boot off. And believe it or not, this all happened at the same truck stop where that church driver had locked herself in the big rib for several hours to avoid being told but unfortunately nature called and she she had to get out of the truck and they came and swooped it up the owner of M group inc said even though he got his truck back he plans to take legal action against a one we are not letting this go questions comments let's get the conversation started in the comments below man have you guys had any 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 situations with a1 towing and hauling out of memphis tennessee if so let us know in the comments below or if you'd like to share your story with us reach out to us at gmail that's lockout man podcast guests at gmail.com and share your story with us on the channel make sure you subscribe for more